Right now at 10, the National Governors Association meeting continuing tonight with a special water fire lighting in downtown Providence. It follows an important day for the capital city. Vice President Mike Pence and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau taking the stage on the second day of the summit. But in the shadow of the convention center, protests broke out. Demonstrators trying to make their voices heard by the leaders gathered inside. Now, despite those protests, this entire event has been a chance for Rhode Island to shine on the national stage amid one of the biggest turnouts for the governor's meeting in years. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke is live in Providence with more on how attendees are getting a taste of what Rhode Island has to offer. Abby. Mike and Carolina's day two of the NGA comes to a close. Governor Gina Raimondo keeping her word to show off the state, inviting the governors to enjoy one of the state's best events, water fire. A chance to let off some steam after another busy day at the NGA. The governors and their guests treated to a private water fire viewing Friday evening. But first, it was all business during day two, which included two big name visitors, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Vice President Mike Pence, who came to talk up President Trump's health care legislation. President Trump and I believe the Senate health care bill strengthens and secures Medicaid for the neediest in our society. But protesters outside the convention center disagreed and hoped their concerns would carry inside. You can't just um, forsake the poor and the elderly and the disabled. During an afternoon session, several Democratic governors also slamming the new Senate bill overhauling Obamacare, specifically the cuts to Medicaid. This would be a disastrous fiscally for Rhode Island, costing us billions of dollars, which we wouldn't be able to afford. Another contentious topic of the day, the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA. NAFTA isn't perfect. No such agreement ever is. We think it should be updated and modernized. And meantime, keeping a close watch over it all, the Rhode Island State Police, along with local and federal agencies. Public safety is the huge issue here, and we want to have a successful, uh, uh, you know, event. And so far, it has been very, very successful. And despite a few disappointed people who weren't able to get close to water fire tonight because of the security, you can consider day two a success as well. Tomorrow, the third and final day of the NGA will feature another big name guest, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, who will be the keynote speaker. Another big get and big draw for the most popular governor's conference yet. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.